CSNWashington.com. Former University of Virginia lacrosse player George Hughley was convicted of second-degree murder in the 2010 death of his one-time girlfriend, Yardley Love. A jury of seven men and five women in Charlottesville tonight deliberated for nine hours. NBC's Olivia Luciano joins us now from outside the courthouse in Charlottesville, Virginia. And Olivia, this seemed like a clear-cut case from the start. It's second-degree murder, not first. What's the ultimate difference? Well, ultimately, the difference is that prosecutors were not able to prove that there was premeditation. There were two different scenarios in which George Hughley could have spent the rest of his life in prison and be convicted of first-degree murder. One was if uh, the jurors considered that there was premeditation beyond uh, malice and intent, which is what they did find for second-degree murder. The other scenario would have been if jurors had decided that he was guilty of robbery and that Yardley Love's death resulted in the process of him committing that robbery, but neither of these happened. They found him guilty of second-degree murder, which means that there was intent and malice, but no premeditation in her death. All right, Lily, obviously this was a, uh, a, a, a trial that took two weeks to take part here in Virginia, uh, we, the hometown. We're getting, we're getting news right now, actually. Okay. Right now, the jury has deliberated that uh, George Hughley will spend 25 years for second degree murder. The maximum sentence that he could have gotten was 40, but jurors decided to give him a sentence of 25 years. This is breaking news right now. Uh, they're announcing this plus one year of the uh, grand larceny charges to which we, he, they also found him guilty. So in total, 26 years. Of those 26 years, he's already served uh, nearly two years, 21 months. So we can only imagine that they'll give him time served for that. So he'll be out in uh, just under or around 24 years, a long time for a young man, twice uh, his age. He's 24 years now. So definitely a, a tragic story for the family of Yardley Love, but some justice, some justice more than 20 years for uh, George Hughley found guilty in second degree murder. This is just coming in right now. We're hearing it from inside the courtroom. Under, understand, Lily, uh, before I let you go here. So obviously the, the jury wanted to get this thing done and get done as quickly as possible. It's a very right. trying time for everybody involved. What's the lasting image from this trial, do you think? Well, there's so many. It's really hard to say, but certainly the victim's family. Today we heard uh, her mother and her sister talking about the great loss that they've endured. Just five years after Yardley Love's father died of cancer, they lose a daughter and a sister. Her mother talked about how hard it is not to know how every day is going to come about. Some days are harder, uh, some days are tougher, some days she doesn't know what to expect. She says that sometimes she thinks of what my daughter would be doing right now, where she would be, and how hard it is to see her friends going about their their lives and, and sometimes expecting to see what you know what she would have been doing or expecting for her to come walking in through the door of course that not happening her sister was only three years apart from Yardley and says that she still hasn't touched anything in Yardley loves bedroom or her bathroom that things have remained as they are and uh, it's it's been obviously uh, very tough for this family uh, the loss first of of their father uh, five years before and then this tragic and, and violent murder so obviously, as you just reported moments ago here, uh, George Hughley now 26 years he'll serve in prison for the second degree murder charge and the grand larceny as well. Could have been 60, but he serves 26 years. Lydia Luciana from NBC News, thank you very much. CSNWashington.com.